Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on embedding Bold BI Dashboard in an Angular application. To learn how to install and deploy Bold BI Server for creating dashboards, please check the documentation and video links mentioned in the description. I have already installed the Bold BI Server and created the Patient Experience Analysis Dashboard. I will show you how to integrate this dashboard into the Angular application securely using Bold BI Embed SDK. Now, let me run the Angular application and view the embedded dashboard. As you can see, the dashboard is embedded. Now, I will explain in detail how to integrate the patient experience analysis dashboard into an Angular application. To start with, I create a new Angular project in Visual Studio Code. Before creating the project, the node has to be installed in my machine. Now, I open the command prompt to check the version of the node by using the node-v command. And the installed version is 12. Next, I create a directory by using the make directory space path command in the command prompt. Then, I open the Visual Studio code using the code space path command. VS Code is launched and I need to open a terminal to install Angular CLI. Open a terminal by clicking the terminal option from the toolbar at the top and choose new terminal. Install Angular CLI using the npm install g at Angular CLI command and Angular CLI is installed. Next, create a new project using the ng-new-file-name command in the terminal. It will prompt you to choose Angular routing and stylesheet. Enter NNCSS and then press Enter. Now, the package is installed successfully and an Angular application is created. After the app is created, Add the necessary script and style references in index.html. Also add the necessary TS files. You can refer to the sample codes for this video by downloading here. Then, open app.component.ts and configure the required properties. Here, API host is the authorization server URL running at localhost port 5000. And I will show you how to create this later in this video. Next, set the environment to enterprise here. Root URL is the dashboard server URL, and you need to set the bold BI server URL. Site identifier is a part of the URL, and you can copy that from the bold BI server URL, that is site slash site one. Now, the required variable is set in the script file. Next, we can see how to create the bold BI instance to embed the dashboard into the Angular application. I have already copied the required files under the dashboard listing folder. Open the dashboard listing.component.ts file, and here the render dashboard method is defined for creating a bold BI instance and embedding the dashboard. I add the HTML code to the dashboard listing.component.html file to render the dashboard and add the required CSS styles to the site.css file. After the necessary changes are made in the client side, create the authorization server using a web application. For this video demo, I use the ASP.NET Core application. The Angular application acts as a client and ASP.NET Core application acts as a server. Now, open Microsoft Visual Studio and create a new project. I choose the ASP.NET Core web application Enter the project name as authorization server and click OK. From the project template window, I choose the web application model view controller template and click OK. Now, the ASP.NET Core application is created. First, create classes named embed properties and data class under models. And add the required variables. In the embed properties class, root URL is the dashboard server URL, and you can get it from the bold BI server. Site identifier is a part of the bold BI server URL. User email and password are the credentials of the bold BI server that authorize the ASP.NET Core application. 
Next, set the embed secret for authentication. I get the embed secret from the bold BI server. I navigate to the settings icon on the left navigation bar and click embed tab. Enable the option, enable embed authentication, and click here to generate the embed secret. On clicking the button, a secret code will be generated. Save the secret key as it cannot be retrieved again. If it is not saved, it has to be generated again using the reset secret option. Paste the saved secret key into the application. I have the necessary functions to get dashboards from the bold BI server in homecontroller.cs. Then update the application URL and launch URL in launchsettings.json. Run the ASP.NET Core application first with the host URL as localhost 5000. And the ASP.NET Core application is launched. I have set the authorization server URL running in the Angular application using the AP host variable. Then, in the Angular application, make sure to update authorization URL and dashboard URL that were defined in the ASP.NET Core application. Now, to run the Angular sample open the integrated terminal and use the ng-serve command. Now the embed dashboard can be seen in the default URL of the Angular project localhost 4200. And, the dashboard created in bold BI server is embedded into the Angular application. Here, you can see the patient experience analysis dashboard rendered properly. In this video, I have shown you how to embed bold BI dashboard into an Angular application. You can get the code used in this video from the help documentation link mentioned in the description. Please leave a comment for any clarification or additional features you would like to see in bold BI. Thanks for watching.